Hello, I'm Entrilithium and welcome to Let's Try Station Ears. Station Ears is a game about building some sort of space base, a station that is stationary in space, as the might suggest from the name. Uh, it's by Dean Hall, the creator of Daisy, so it is now out in early access, and I thought let's take a look. Now, please bear in mind that I've played a couple of hours this already, and it's interesting. But I thought it was was looking at anyway. So uh, we've got Moon, Space, and Mars. We're going to start on Moon for survival, considering it's fully really there in early access. Do, 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 do. It came out in early access only like a few days ago, so this is still pretty early early access. Um, and welcome. Hello. We are a lady astronaut. I don't know if we're an astronaut or whatever. I think we're an astronaut. Pot of oxygen tank. Consumable. Flies. Road flares. Hello. Pretty sure they're not road flares if they're designed for use in space, but I... Yeah, you know, sure. Portable air scrubber. Air conditioner. Oh, I love some air conditioning. Um, another crate. Organic supplies and construction supplies. So first things first, going to open this crate and have a look inside. What have we got? Got like solar panels and stuff. Uh, a kit for generator. A kit for an arc furnace. Uh, we need... Iron frames, and I'm actually going to put this duct tape away because we don't need the duct tape. Now, I'm going to straight out say that I'm going to massively criticize this game right now because it is some of the worst UI I have ever experienced, particularly the uh, the UX. The uh, the buttons and the key presses in this game are, are awful. I've got two hands. I have to switch between hands. I have to put these in one hand, which is my iron frames, and now I have to get out, go to my belt, scroll across to my welder, put the welder in this hand, close the belt, hold F on the welder, no, hold R on the welder, nope, there we go, yeah, go to, go to on, turn it on, and then switch back to the frame, press R on the frame, ah, no, Press F on the frame? No, not R. Ah, right click. There we go. And yeah. That's how difficult it is just to put down a frame. Know how many, many different buttons I needed to press there? There was an F involved. There was a right click. There was a left click. There was an R involved. There was holding. There was pressing. There was repeated taps. And straight up, I'm going to say... Right now, at the very beginning of uh, this this little let's try investigation, that uh, yeah, it's it's so so bad, so bad. And I know that by saying that, people are going to be like, oh, do I need to really watch the rest? I could just click off now. And I'll be like, well, that's a point. But I'm gonna gripe about this UI throughout the video, and uh, I, I couldn't contain it. I couldn't contain it. It, it took me all of what 40 seconds before I griped about the UI in this video. I, I thought, you know, maybe I'll hold it in a little bit longer, but no. Ooh, hello. Oh. Can't be done. Gotta say it straight away. Uh, what I will do, though, is I'm gonna go find... Uh, right click to turn that off. Iron sheets. Swap for iron sheets. Okay, how do I put down the iron sheet? There we go. Switch to the arc welder. See what I mean? You had a frame put down, and you had to set the frame, but then when you want to put this panel down, you have to select the well. It's just, it's not consistent in the UX. The UI is the stuff on screen, right? It's the interface. The UX is how you interact with it and how it's displayed to you. I'm just gonna put all this frame down. Now, what I'm doing right now is putting down like a base area. We need to get a base area nice and quickly because, um,. Well, the sun's rising, and you might be like, well, is that a problem? Eh, actually, surprisingly enough, not. And also, yes. So, firstly, we need to get solar power to charge our batteries and stuff right now. That is, like, our first priority. Um, there are a few ways of getting power in this game. Primarily solar, but then there's also uh, generators, which you power by coal. Why there is coal on the moon, I haven't quite figured out. Uh, we need to find our... Solar power kit. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, put the solar panel. Rotate it. Did I rotate? Sure, put it here. Okay, and then we need to get the battery storage. The battery, battery cell charger, right. And we need to place this. This is super important. Because we need to be able to charge our batteries, otherwise we will die. That is a that is a side effect of not having power in this game. Uh, I will place it there, sure. Right, now we need wire. Also, you know what, I will turn this off because if I leave it on, we will run out of power in it, and then I have to replace the batteries off. Notice how that took me like several presses just to turn a device off. Uh, 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 um... Need a battery. Also, I need wire. That's a battery. Fine, I'll take the battery. And I need glass. Oh, there we go. Battery goes in there. We need wire. I think I have wire, wire on me, in which case I just need glass. Iron sheet. Glass sheet, right. Now, somehow. There we go. Glass needs to go on top of it. I don't know why you have a solar panel kit and then you need to put glass on top of the solar panel kit to make it work. Like, surely that should be included in... That seems like they're making it extra complicated just for the giggles, right? Like, I don't see the point. Let's put this upright. Q to drop. Oh, I dropped my welding kit. Oh, no! Oh, because it's in my other hand. I have to... Ah! No dis... Wait, are you still on? I turned you off, didn't I? Okay. And I've got to toggle R again on it. Oh, God. See what I mean about this game? Alright, what am I looking for? No, 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 no. That's a tracking beacon. Don't need that yet. Um, wire. Oh, it might be my uniform. Okay, so you can also toggle through all of your stuff. Five. There we go. Then scroll over to that. Put it in my hand. And then right click and we will probably want to make like a multi-junction. Now you can get like a six-way junction where it goes up and down as well, but we'll go with this for now. And then you should be creating power. Oh no, we need to turn this on. Right. Um There we go, now it's charging. Why you need to turn a battery charger on? I mean, maybe you want it off sometimes so you don't charge the batteries, but surely it should be on by default. Uh, that's generating power. Now you might look at the solar panel and be like, wait, that's a fixed solar panel. It's not actually getting optimal power most of the time. At the moment, yes. But this is a solar like, panel is like stationary and the sun is down there or it's over here. This is only going to be getting some of the power because like, if the sun's coming from here, it's really only hitting that area with a small bit of power is up here, taking up a larger bit of power. Um, sunlight, not power. The point being that the more the angle between that goes off to the side, the less efficient it is. We'll get much more efficiency when it's perpendicular, like right now. Look at that. 476, 480 watts, 480, 490. I think we'll get to 500 when it gets to the top, and then, yeah, now it's going down again as the sun. Now, we can alter this, but again, this is one of those exercises... Oh, god damn it! Exercises in futility. Because you need to go all the way over to here, grab your wrench, and then you need to hit it with a wrench. You can't just adjust it without a wrench. You need a wrench to do it. It doesn't auto-track either. And this is how you get to be the most efficient way. Right. Now. There's also no sound right now. That's because we're in, you know, zero atmosphere. If you look up in the top right, that way, um, it's got internal and external. You've got pressure, you've got temperature, a um, few other stats as well. Yeah. If we open our mask, which I can do by pressing I, I'm not going to do it, uh, we will die. Actually, surprisingly, not that quickly, but... 
Actually, in space, you don't actually die particularly quickly if you take your mask off. Um, depends where you are. And it also depends if you held your breath. If you hold your breath, then you're dead. I'm going to put my tools away. That just annoying. Um, oh, God, I've got to click. <laughs> you probably won't get how annoying these controls are until you try and actually use these controls in-game. Um, but yeah, in space, you become useless pretty quickly. You don't necessarily die super quick. Auto lay, solid generator. Let me get the solid generator out. You know how I can play solid generators without tools, but I need tools to place other things? Apparently, you don't even need a wrench to set up a generator, but you need a wrench to adjust a solar panel. It seems like someone just wanted to make this complicated for the sake of complicated. That's the issue I have with this game. Um, yeah, I know. I'm bashing the game from the very start. Probably should do that. I'll put this up here. Oh. Okay, that is wrong. I want to do it the other way around, I think. Because power is... Uh, power's on the back. I wonder if I can bring that power out. This here is like a logic data slot. You can hook things up so they have uh, complicated interactions with each other. Uh, a whole load of like logic tools and so on. But we're nowhere near that yet. Right. Um, no, don't want to do that. Uh, I guess we could go go bendy this way. Sure. Straight. Oh, nope, I almost put down a six-way junction. I don't need to go up with that. Now, you can, of course, build, like, fully enclosed areas. We're not doing that right now because uh, I don't really have any of the resources for that quite yet. Um, I should might do in the crates, but for now, simple. Now, this is going to be our generator we can chuck coal into. Why there is coal on the moon? Coal is, of course, compressed, you know, biological matter that's been basically pressurized over millions of years and, and left to just turn slowly into hydrocarbons. Now, firstly, why that's on a moon like this? You might be like, oh, it used to be a planet. It would have to be a very old planet. And also, you'd have very different geolo uh, geological like stuff. You wouldn't... The point, it doesn't work. Oh, so that is a big dip. Ooh, let's not go down there. Um, secondly, burning coal needs oxygen. Why would you waste your oxygen reserves like that? It's ridiculous. Okay, what do we want now? Um, I'm gonna say we grab the auto lathe and the stuff like that. So, the arc furnace is what you need to smelt stuff with. So you can smelt, like, copper or to make copper. Is this the right way around? I don't know. I think that's the right way around. Yeah, I think that hatch on the back is so that, like, with data and stuff, it can output stuff automatically, maybe? Hmm. Uh, whoops, I want to... Every time I press R for that, I don't know why. And there is literally no mouse control on this interface. Your mouse is literally just where you look. You know, obviously, left and right click do things, but... It's really disappointing, because... The ability to move your mouse cursor around is one of the defining points about user interfaces and the whole user experience for nearly every computer in the modern world. While well, I'm using that, I need to mouse, mouse go off a different type of one, and then... Now we need to uh, come down here. Oop, hello. Grab auto lathe. It's like Space Engineers met Astroneer and then had a worse UI. And Space Engineers UI isn't brilliant. 
It's not super bad, though, you know. That's fair. Now the auto lathe. Notice that there's an input port here and an output port here, just like on the back of the furnace. I suspect that's so you can put the furnace to automatically put into the auto lathe, and then you could use a data port to maybe automated build things or whatever. Again, we're not going to bother with that. We don't need to. Um... Right, that's all hooked up. Solar panel's good. This battery is, uh, there we go. High charge, nice. Now, uh, my supply crate needs to be. There we go. Circuit board, airlock control, water filter, airlocks. We need to get coal out. There'll be coal over there. Power controller. No, I don't need that. What am I looking for? It must be over here. Tracking beacon. Right. Tracking beacon. The point of the tracking beacon is so that when you wander away from your base, you can find it on your bases. We can turn it on and we can track it. It's also got battery on top that has full charge, luckily for us right now. Uh, we are going to need to find a circuit. This this is where it gets super complicated, right? To find the tracking beacon, you can't do it using your, your suit. You need a PDA or like a pad or something, okay? We have that, I think, in our backpack. Yes, right. Now, you might think, oh, you've got stuff on your, your uh, like your helmet, right? We've got our, our heads up display and stuff. Surely that can show us the beacon. No, that would be too simple in this game. Yeah, I'm getting condescending now. The game the game certainly makes things far more complicated than they need to be, just for reasons. And they're not even game reasons, they're just frustrating reasons. We can turn the beacon on and nothing's happening to our pad. That's because our pad, funnily enough, needs to be on and also needs a cartridge. So we can turn it on, but nothing happens because it needs a cartridge. So turn it off. We need to find a cartridge. Luckily, one of these, we don't know which, because reasons, is a cartridge. I'm just going to quickly put away my cable. And I say quickly, that takes like five times longer than there is any need for it. Uh, let's grab this one and chuck it on the ground. It is a tracker cartridge. Yes! Yeah, you can't tell what it is. Like if I... There's no way for me to know the name of that. I could scroll over them, no way to know the name. Now that could be just, you know, early access stuff. Um, now I need to figure out how to combine the two. And this is the harder part. Um... Right, so I hold R, I go to the cartridge slot, and I, there we go. You have to go to the cartridge slot and then switch to your other hand and then put your other hand in the cartridge slot. Oh, it's just so... This, this entire game doesn't use modifier keys. Control, Shift, Alt, we're all used to those as modifier keys for P, lowercase, Shift P, P, uppercase. Stuff like that. Why you can't have left and right mouse button doing two different, uh, each hand, and then have a modifier key for that, or, you know, same things with the keyboard stuff, I don't know. I really don't. But there's like five different keys to make this bit work. So... There's no tutorial in the game. None. Uh, right, so if we close that with... Uh, we gotta go back to there, then do R, then do R to turn it on. Wait. This is the encyclopedia. Did I put the wrong one in? Oh my god, did I, did I put the wrong one in? That'll teach me for going somewhat mental on it. How do I get it out? Cartridge. It's. Oh, I somehow switched to the e reader when I wasn't paying attention. Oopsie. That's the tracker, right. The grab you, put you in there. Grab you. See what I mean? Ah, oh, switch to the, put that in, right. Then switch back, then ah, then on. Tracking beacon, right, there's no tracking beacon. Then we turn the tracking beacon on. Oh, wait, nope. 
There we go. Two meters, four meters, five. Yeah, it's working. Now, this, our PDA, will run out of battery. It's got a battery in it. And this will run out of battery. It's not easy to change the battery in the PDA. This one, luckily, really easy to change the battery in. You go yoink, yoink. Uh, now, I'm going to switch back to the PDA, turn it off. We'll turn it on when we need it later. And also, while the tracking beacon is deployable, so you have to keep like putting a new thing into it rather than attaching it to the base at this stage. Not sure. Maybe there is one that you can attach to the base. We need to do something really, really annoying. Now, this is probably going to be another big bug that I'm going to complain about with the game. Well, not bug, it's a UI choice. Um, notice that we've got a helmet, a suit, a back, a uniform, and a belt. This belt down the bottom here, this is our tool belt. Our mining belt is up here. Let me just put my uh, PDA away. Right. This is our mining belt. We're going to need to grab our mining belt, then hold 5 to switch the belt out, then go to our uniform, put the tool belt away, and then go to the mining belt. Because I don't know why. I really don't. But we've got two belts. And you can't wear them at the same time, which means that you have tools separately from where all your ore goes when you mine. Don't don't ask why. I'll turn this on. Also, why I have to turn this on where it can't just turn on when I pull the trigger on it? Again. But luckily we've got coal nearby, so we can grab this coal. It's still cold here. Num 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 num. Notice that there are sound effects in this game. Just very, very rarely. Oh, I saw the name. You sometimes see the name pop up like there. There we go. More coal. Lovely. Again, no idea why there's coal. Apparently there were dinosaurs or something on this moon. And no idea where we're going to spend our very valuable oxygen doing that. And the way you can work with oxygen, right, is you can either get more oxygen and then just flush your CO2. Or you can use electricity to crack your CO2 back into oxygen. Now, what all sensible things do is they crack the CO2. In this game, apparently we're going to waste our valuable oxygen by burning it with coal? I mean, straight up, apart from all the stuff about, you know, fire, it just seems like the worst idea ever. It's, it's one thing I just don't get about this game, right? Like, UI and stuff, I can disagree with those being bad UI design, etc. But I just don't understand the decision to have this be coal, when a lot of the rest of the game is like, look, you've got pressure in your helmet, you've got pressure outside your helmet, you've got a temperature, you've got, you know, airlocks and stuff. Like, that's like, ooh, hardcore mechanics, hardcore -y type stuff. Also, you start like Minecraft and you need coal. What? It's like me going to the bottom of the sea and then saying, yeah, you need to live by eating um, Snickers bars. Oh, is it like a vending machine? No, Snickers bars just grow here. Why do Snickers bars grow here? They just do. It's the weirdest thing ever. It's placeholder? It doesn't feel like placeholder though. It's got like a full name and everything. Alright, can we get out of here yet? No, nope. come on, let's get out of here. Oi, there we go. Oh, hello, Sun, are you going up or down? You're going up, okay. Now, I would go over to my solar panel and adjust blah, adjust it using the uh, the wrench. But the wrench is in my other pack, and to get my other pack out will be a nightmare because of the control scheme. So you get where we're going with this. I'd never want to switch between my belts because they're just awful. Also, we've got like half a dozen different controls that just, you, not controls, tools that you just very rarely need. Why they just can't give you one multi-tool? Yeah, sure, okay, so that's realistic, but so is coal on the bleeding moon. 
this game is just me slacking off. I mean, it's early access. Like, I will, I will go straight out on limb and be like, you know what? I don't like the game. It's early access, but I think most of those design things are gonna stay in the game, unless they completely overhaul the UX. This seems like a UX choice to me, not a placeholder UX. You don't really do placeholder UX as much as this. Like UI, sure. The user experience, though, seems like a a choice. Also, if I run out of power in this, I'm going to be trapped underground. That would be great. There's apparently a jetpack, but I haven't dared to use it because that involves learning more controls, and quite probably I'd explode stuff. Now, one of the things that does actually happen, apparently, just as a choice in the game, if you're in, dis if you're in direct sunlight for too long, your welding tank can explode? Which is amusing, I guess, but also, why? There's no warning of it or anything. Apparently, people just learned it by going on the Steam forum. People were like, How, why is this a thing? They were like, oh yeah, sometimes your mining tank explodes. What? No mining tanks are your welding tank. How are we doing in terms of... Uh, still plenty more coal to go. Hello, coal? We've got really lucky on this. Normally coal's a bit harder to find, in my experience. Or at least, you know, not harder to find necessarily, but not so much fit right next to the starting location. Okay, let's... Oh! oh. What is this? Is this a... Just a natural, like, crater or something. I've certainly had one of those little crater things that is actually just like a lava tube. Um, it doesn't have lava in it, it's just a from back in the day. Uh, where they had lava. Yeah, back in the day. Unlike at the moment where lava is not a thing. Um, but on the moon. Silicon, we don't need that. Not yet. Yeah, like that. Just, But it keeps going down forever and I fell down into it and I was like, oh. Well, I could use my jetpack. Or I could just restart the game. Uh, I restart the game. Okay, now. Up. Give me my coal. Oops, switch hands, because that's a thing in this game. We'll take this. We want to put it into here. And then we want to press this button. Now that the generator should be creating power. The thing is, there's no visual indication that the generator is actually really doing anything. This is early access, so this is the sort of thing in early access that is an early access thing, right? You've got a model, you do the input, cool. You haven't really thought about the feedback. That's also UX, by the way. I know I go on about UX a lot. That's my, that's my jam. Um, it's what I have any knowledge and stuff about, so... I'm going to take the battery out here. I actually didn't need my pad to come back. Everything was in visual sight of the base. Put you in there to charge. Take that battery and I will change my life support battery for it. Um, there we go. That can charge up now. That should be delivering power. Ah, yes, we've used 10 of the coal. There we go. Now, I don't think we have... That was very skatey. I don't think we have any stuff to smelt, so... We've got to find something smeltable. Ooh, mock There's a lot of coal down here! There we go. It just keeps going down. Be careful not to like get myself into some sort of cave network. Uh, okay. I haven't got the tracker on, so I've got to be really careful if I'm actually going to go for a little bit of a jaunt. Also, gravity on the moon is apparently normal gravity. Either that, or I'm the world's worst jumping person. Jumping person. Jumper. Oh, that's a big hole. Oxide, I don't need that. I need copper. 
maybe some iron. Um, we can go for a bit of a jaunt. Still got loads of battery in this. Full charge. Right, let's go. I'm gonna go down here. This could be interesting. Oh, hello, map generation. Silicon. Silicon. Coal. It's strange to actually be like, actually, I really should stop mining coal. I have enough of it. This doesn't really happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back off. I don't need that much. Oh, hello. What are you? Iron? Iron. Notice how it's oxidized. Eh, it should be iron ore, but whatever. Cool. You know what? That's fine. Um, most of the, uh, the moon's lunar surface is actually stuff like aluminium oxide. So there'll be like a lot of aluminium around here. Aluminium! Super useful! Getting pretty expensive on Earth because we keep using it for stuff. Lightweight metal. Is there any more iron up here? I think there is a little bit. There. Lovely. Now the downside of the tracker, of course, is that you can quite easily get lost if you're out long enough for your battery to die on the uh, tracking device. Either at either end, like the beacon or your pad. Like if the battery dies on either, you're screwed. Guess carry some spare batteries in at home. I don't know. There might be one you can deploy inside your base or something, or I don't know. I really don't. When I get out, thank you. All right, gotta find some copper or more iron. That is also good. Now copper in this. Have I used to pull my? I've used to pull my slots. Okay. Um. Right, I guess. Go back to base. Go back to base. Go back to. Get out of my way! Thank you. Going back to base. Going back to base. Going back to base. And void. And. Bam! Right. So. We grab. Put you in there. Turn it on. Activate. Oh. I guess we don't need to put you in a furnace. You just exist as raw iron? No, that's ore. Hmm. How do we... Okay, we'll call construction kit. Ooh. This, I hope, is a... I really hope this is placeholder. Because you can build all different things. Look at this. Kits. Iron walls. Stacker. Stairs. Steel. The downside? Why do I have to scroll through all of these? Why can't I just have a menu to pick from with, you know, my mouse? This is just, this is like my nightmare. I'm just gonna stick that there, I really don't care. Um, I was looking for copper so I could demonstrate the smelting in the arc furnace. Device is not powered, oh! Okay. Right, are you powered now? Oh, maybe you're running out of power. Yeah, you're running out of power, that was why. I was like wondering, like, I'm pretty sure you're meant to go in the... Furnace. 
It's because we ran out of power. Yeah. How's this battery doing? Full. If only I could get the battery to charge the other way. Not charge the other way. Deplete itself and then actually put power back into the system. I think there is a way. It must be in this game. But we're slowly getting there. And look, we have ingots. Iron ingots. Just need to keep pressing the button. There we go. Oh, that's really weird. They've got different values. Because of the power and they, when they cut out, I assume. Oh, that's annoying. I guess I could have built the auto lathe so that everything gets pushed straight into the auto lathe. Like put the furnace so that it just pushes straight out into here. That would probably be the smarter way to do it. Uh, Showing you how much coal you had left. 24? Yeah, that's not for a little while. Right, that should be a 4. It just pushed out. Let's go check. Yeah. So when the power cuts out, it turns it into an ingot. Unfortunately, because we've been pressing the button a lot, because it's been cutting out because of power, we've had some pretty small ingots. Got a 9 there, though. It's an improvement. Right, auto lathe on. Wall light. Not enough reagents. Construction kit pipe. Walls. Right, build me a wall. Oh, do we just not have enough power again or Oh. Well oh, hello. Right, yes, we need to close the auto lathe. I'm actually just chucking stuff in, it's coming at the other end. Right. Try now. It's not having enough power. 60, 70, 80. Oh, I nearly got there. Where's the sun? Where's the sun could come up. got so close! It was 90 something! I like that you have to start from scratch. It doesn't it doesn't get part way through your thing and leave it there. No no. It when it runs out of power, it deliberately deconstructs it. Come on. Oh, I've got 92. Just We have a construction kit for a pipe. We can pipe Air or something with this. I literally, literally couldn't care though. This game is so taxing to play because of the terrible UI design. <laughs> I'm gonna call it for this video. Hopefully, hopefully found it amusing. Um, this game is a lot. A long way to go, and I don't mean a long way to go in development, because it seems to actually have the things in it to make a game. Um, you know, I'm running out of air right now. So that's the mechanics. It's just, they need to scrap everything about the UX and replace it. And also change a few of these design choices, like why the hell do I have two belts that I can't wear at the same time? Is it because I... Ooh, it's because it's really important. You have to access them really quickly. It's micromanagement. No, it's just annoying. I weigh like a tenth of my weight on the moon. I'm pretty sure I can carry two belts, mate. I mean, it could be any moon, but by the, you know, look of it, how spherical it isn't, doesn't look particularly large. And there we've got power. Yay. 
I mean, Elysium. <laughs> Sorry. Tired, sassy Elysium is tired, sassy Elysium. Um, I've been in Elysium. Like, subscribe. Feel free to let me know your thoughts down below because, you know, one man's cup of tea is another man's. I mean, it's, if it's tea, you really should like it. Okay, maybe not that analogy, but whatever. The point being, maybe, maybe this is your thing, um, being frustrated by terrible design choices. Yeah, okay. Sass is high right now. Until next time, stay shiny. Chuck that on the ground and take my helmet off, put it in there, and then burn it. Take my suit off, put it in there, burn it. Take my backpack off, put it in there, burn it. Take my uniform off, put it in there, burn it. Take my belt off, put it in there, burn it. There we go. And I'm asleep. I think that's what the Zeds mean.